We're in a typical um, work environment. We're in an office situation. We rely on air conditioning normally. At the moment, we've got the window open. That's not acceptable. We need to shut it because we don't need the outside air to be coming into the room. How do we get air in? We get it through the supply air. The supply air grill is pumping enough air into this room for the heat load. Maybe one person, perhaps two or three people in the room maximum. The airflow is from the supply air to the room and then we have the situation where we have the return air grill. The return air grill allows the air to pass out of the room through the door, still maintaining some confidentiality. The return air travels and is returned through this return air grill, which then goes into the air conditioning unit. The air is then reconditioned and it is supplied back into this area. There's a few supply air, one up here and one over in the other side of the corner. The idea is that there would be more people in this room. We might have a situation of uh, morning or afternoon tea, a number of people sitting on the couches. We need more supply air here. Here we have the supply air for this room. The air is being supplied to this room. It's been pulled away to the other side of the room where the return air grill is. Air is circulating but it's circulating away from me. Consequently, in this location here, we have a dead air situation. We have no supply air. Effectively, if we had moved the supply air, let's say two meters to directly above me here, we would have had air being supplied and returning. That way, this area would not have been a dead air situation. We've got a heat load here. We've got a refrigerator, microwave oven, heat generators. Effectively, this air is stale. It's stale because there is no air circulation, other than people walking in and walking out, stirring the air up. This is to be avoided in design of buildings.